Welcome to another edition of Wild Finds where I search for media items at thrift stores and other places I can get them for cheap. Love this thrift store here. A lot of times they are 10 cents each. And yes, the media is still 10 cents. I still can't get over how awesome of a deal that is. Let's see what we can find here. So they have some 45, some actually okay ones, weirdo. Now that's pretty neat right there. Hopefully these are 10 cents each. Hello, so I got, uh, there's like 44 things. And then I was curious, how much are these right here? The $1. 45s? Each. They're a dollar each? Okay. I would give you $10 for the whole box if you just wanted to. Uh, it's really hard to say, maybe about 30. Okay, there's about 40, I can do 15. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Heck yeah, so $15 for all the 45s, not a bad deal. Uh, they're not worth a ton or anything, but because they have the sleeves, I figured I would grab them for that price. Most of them have the sleeves at least, right? For the movies, most of this stuff is just for resale, and at 10 cents each, I just grabbed basically whatever, I'm not really sure. Uh, what they're worth uh, and if they're not worth anything that's fine some of them will be though got a lot of these kids movies on blu-ray that's a good deal some more over here the sims 2 i found a bunch of sims 2 games last time and here's some more got these host of 1000 corpses i saw that in the theater and i didn't like it at all it's kind of grown on me over the years i don't think it's that bad anymore i'm not a huge rob zombie fan though here at hope thrift yeah last time i was here i complained that the bins were a mess it looks like they cleaned them up a little bit and it also looks like they might have put out new stuff i always look up these bbc ones also ones put out by acorn media those are almost always british ones and like half the time they seem to have value and the dvds are one dollar but the sets are 2.99 but something like that 115 episodes for 2.99 is a great deal the guy working told me they have more DVDs outside. Wow, awesome. Get to go through all these. I guess someone just dropped all these off. Let me look through these and show you what I find. So I actually found so many that I'll wait till I get home to show these off. Hello. Oh, what's up? So I know you do a dollar on the DVDs, but then the sets are usually more. Any chance I could get them for a dollar each since I'm buying so many? Well, they're normally like two ninety nine for the sets. Yeah. It depends on how many's in it. Uh huh. I mean, I can do a dollar ninety nine. Okay. Yeah. Then Blu rays are dollar ninety nine. Uh huh. At this Goodwill right here, the prices are all over the place. Walton's four ninety nine. Billy Jack, this is nine ninety eight. That's just way too much. These ones right here are reasonable though. Tales from the Earth Sea for two dollars. Legends two by Tato. Uh, you wouldn't think this would be worth much, but it sells for like $35. Surprising for a PC game, so definitely going to grab this one. And this one sells for a little bit too. Back here at the Out of the Closet Thrift Shop, a very good place to find media. Everything is still 25 cents. So just found a couple things this time around. Hollow Man, I've actually never seen that movie, so I'll grab that. Blaze an old Stephen King book that he never released and then he eventually did release it under Richard Bachman. I don't have high hopes for this. I feel that his very, very early stuff isn't as good, but it's only a quarter, so I might as well check it out. Eyes of the Stranger, I'm gonna leave this behind because I already own it, but that's a really cool movie. And I'm gonna grab these three right here for resale. Dude, you dropped something. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we got the bar owners tonight, idiot! The bar owners? We were supposed to get parked according to the police! Oh. And they've been here three times! Oh. I'm trespassing from Disney! And they used that as an excuse! I have no problems! They screwed you. They were out there two nights ago talking about how they're trying to be getting them pregnant! They'll I'm get, done with their shit! They'll get theirs, buddy. Don't stress it, though. Don't stress it. 
hopefully everything works out for that guy. If I got banned from Disney, I would be upset too. Didn't come here to record him. There's this outdoor flea market type area here. Curious what they got. Looks to be a lot of vintage clothing. They have this Resident Evil 3 shirt. That's insanely awesome. He wants $100 for it though. Bit out of my price range for a t-shirt. Lots of cool tapes here. They have some records. The Decline, $50. It'd be sick to find this at a flea market for a buck. Yeah, it's so cool. Uh -huh. 16, uh, a different copy, but. Uh, I had a Bart Simpson doll just like this as a kid. Won it at Riverside Amusement Park, nice. This duck is eyeing my pizza. This guy has dropped his pants. At the next stop over here, they have a small little video game section. Gonna grab this right here, Lord of the Rings, the third age. I would grab this, but it's just too scratched. These are $2 each. Okay, awesome, so I talked to the girl working and I said if they were a dollar each, I would grab a bunch more. Just some of these for $2 I didn't want to spend, but for a dollar each, heck yeah, I'll grab all these. I love when thrift stores are willing to work with you, most don't, so real cool. So I'm back at this thrift store a few days later and I got in a couple new games, heck yeah. So for $2, I'm assuming I'm getting these for two bucks. Uh, great deal right there. So they were actually only a dollar each, awesome right there, two fourteen after tax. I don't have a Wii U, I did have one briefly, but I uh, sold it. Uh, and it was pretty fun. I think the reason that system failed is because Wii was already popular So no one wanted to upgrade to something called Wii U They didn't understand why it was better But uh, yeah, hopefully I can find this one day for the switch which I do currently have Here at the good wheel So got some DVDs here hot pursuit for 99 it's funny when you find ones that you found at the Dollar Tree for five times as much and they're also used. But I did find this Highlander 2 new and sealed. For whatever reason, I guess this is just like super out of print. This sells for like 50 bucks. So heck yeah on that one. And Funny Games, the remake, I've actually never seen this. I have seen the original and I like it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to grab this. I actually don't think I will. I think I'm happy just having seen the original. Back at this thrift store where all the media is 10 cents. Gonna grab these right here. Kind of a weird pairing. Raising Arizona and Johnson's Family Vacation. Not really very similar movies. They have Bumblebee, by far the best Transformers movie. And this weird Journey Generation CD in a paper sleeve. Also a $3 VCR DVD combo. Probably doesn't work, but might as well give it a shot. This is scary. Just my luck. Crackheads gone wild. Miami is missing the disc. So sometimes just randomly buying things pays off. This Scooby-Doo CD sells for like $80. Holy smokes. I mean, I want to know who let the dogs in. <laughs> I'm always checking this thrift store because they give out free stuff. Gotta love that. Free items. Got a, a puzzle. We got some DVDs here. We got broken glass. That's not good, but DVDs. What's this? No money. Never heard of that. Manga, Black Butler, whatever that is. Never heard of it. Attack on Titan. I have heard of that for free. Heck yeah. Got some more stuff. A Disney tray here. Heck yeah. Got all these cordless phones. 
I don't think I want to deal with those, but I will take these for sure. So I spent $75. Some of these sets though are worth $20, $30 a piece. So I got a really good deal. These will go for a lot. Most of these I'm gonna resell. They just don't interest me that much. I would love to find obscure horror movies, but it doesn't happen that often. So I'll take what I can get. Look at that guy right there, there he is. Like you couldn't pay me to watch this right here. Yes, Prime Minister, the complete collection. Ugh, what a bore that looks like. If you like that, uh, no offense, but yeah. Columbo, that's uh, slightly more my speed, but still not like what I'm really that into. Mike Hammer, uh, this actually seems to have quite a bit of value, so pretty cool right there. Diagnosis Murder. We got these right here. For some reason, sometimes, not for some reason, but because Hallmark movies sometimes are hard to find, so they can sometimes be worth something. Got these right here. Like this one uh, seemed to be worth like $25, so I'll happily resell that one. And these four down here are the only ones I'm gonna check out for myself. Welcome back, Cotter. That seems hard to find for some reason. So there it is, the second season. Steve Martin, the television stuff. That's really cool for two bucks, heck yeah. I love, love, love the movie The Jerk, and I feel that his televised uh, comedy sets are the second best thing he ever did. I'm not as big of a fan of his like albums. I more like the like short sets he would do on TV. I haven't seen that many, but I have watched some on YouTube before. There's this movie, The Loved Ones. I've seen this in the past and I remember liking it, but I can't really remember it very well, so I'll have to check it out again at some point. And then there's this one, a Criterion movie. Uh, pretty cool to find this. Odd Man Out. Don't really know what this is about, but uh, you know, for two bucks, I'll grab any Criterion movie. So, heck yeah. This is Wild Finds. I appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time around. There's a squirrel waving at me. Hi, squirrel.